not that time is always of essence, yeah, uh, but time becomes important when you have suppliers which need to be paid on time. Yeah, uh, where you want to have visibility on what you do, the documents, etc. Where in an organization as Nissan in Europe, which can be quite complex, where maybe four or five different people sitting in different locations, yeah, need to look at that. Yeah, so time in combination with the electronic image, that was of essence. We, um, due to a strategic move of all the sales officers for, for Nissan, we uh, moved all the, the offices, and which meant that we only had about seven weeks to deploy this in the, the solution itself. And for 35 companies, that's uh, quite a challenge. But, uh, but we, we achieved it with, with uh, hard work from, from Dynamics and, and K2. Yeah. We did not have the complete uh, uh, audit trail of, uh, of the responses when we had to get a feedback from the business users. So there were like instances where we were losing emails, we were losing responses, and there were a lot of uh, uh, frustration among the users as well as the business users uh, and the uh, operator, the accounts payable operators here. The other which is of essence, and that has to do with, uh, with, with the simple word is control. Whether that comes from things like SOX or governance or JSOX, as we call it, we're a Japanese company, so for us it's JSOX, not maybe as severe as SOX, but nevertheless control. That means we should be able to go back and see what happened, who did what, etc. So we can ensure that things are in line with not only uh, the authorities and the policies from the various uh, member states you're in, but also in line with our own internal policies which can change, as you can imagine, uh, from time to time. We had uh, three different solutions and uh, several different processes within Europe. And we used the solution to standardize all the processes in Europe. And also, one of the biggest problems we have by, ha by outsourcing and offshoring to a shared service center is the monitoring of the activities. So, uh, key performance indicators that uh, the workflow solution for K2 yeah, provided us, uh, allowed us to monitor and, um, and, and have a good contract with our suppliers. But, uh... So in summary, the two main objectives why we did it was time yeah, and control. And I think, yeah, if you look at the end results, we, uh, we are successful in uh, achieving that with the K2 solution. We have deployed a solution for the European market for um, all the finance departments we have in Europe, which is uh, for different companies. We've standardized about 35 companies um, based on the finance shared service processes. The solution itself allowed us to, uh, to measure more uh, the KPIs and the reporting of our shared service center, which is Jampact. Uh, we have around uh, 60 people at Jampact who are um, working with uh, K2 on a daily basis and um, they are actually um, scanning the images into K2 and um, entering into SAP. Yeah, by, by scanning everything into the IAP solution, we have uh, allowed a full transparency of the system itself, a full transparency of all the document flows that we carry in Europe. K2 currently handles uh, around incoming 1,500 invoices per day and handle uh, around 100 users here in Genpact and don't know exactly how many thousands of users uh, on the Nissan shop uh, from the approver side um, and handles uh, around 15, 25,000 active items between, uh, within the system that uh, they are expecting uh, an action from our side, from Genpact or from uh, the customer side. We um, have about, in this in Europe, we have 5,000 users working on the workflow itself, on the approval part of invoices, on the feedback part with our offshore supplier. We process about 40,000 invoices per month in the system itself. So the, um, the scope, the, doc yeah, the document handling is very, very large. And the KT integration with SAP allowed us to actually eliminate um, the double entry, um, what we have been using uh, prior to, to K2. The solution consists of, um, we've, we've two sides of the solution. One is, one is the workflow solution at the supplier, the, the offshore supplier we have. 
um, there's a team of about 100 people working on this solution every single day. That is a document workflow for all the documents that we receive on the finance department in, um, or for, for all the finance departments in Europe. We um, also have the workflow, of course. We have the user interface side, where the users approve invoices, where um, specific feedback routes are allowed. And um, yeah, where, where the interaction with the business is very good. Yeah. With K2, what we have is we have a complete workflow solution that all the responses uh, which, which uh, have to be come from the business users are, uh, are in K2. So we know where exactly the uh, invoices are uh, stored, uh, whether it's with the users, whether it's with us. So we have a complete audit trail and we know where, uh, where we are headed. If there is any problem, we can identify where the problem is. Mm. The K2 reports help us to actually measure our uh, supplier uh, as we outsourced our um, AP services to a third um, vendor and now we can actually measure that performance and with the K2 report we really know how many invoices they receive on a daily basis, how many they process on a daily basis, what's their turnaround time and we can measure a lot of things with uh, K2. The Gate solution is actually a very, very transparent solution and also transparent for the users, not just for, um, for us as the, as the business itself. But the users itself um, at Jampact can actually see how much they still have to do. And uh, for us, of course, KPIs is very, very important. So. It enables us. Uh, there are two, two tools in that. One is a, a, the standard K2 tool. You can ask all kinds of queries and you get things online. And you can get it historically and you can get it what I call dynamic, static and dynamic. So you can look back and you can have a dynamic what's the current queue or backlog or age situation. Excellent stuff. That can go even further, but that's a matter of development, what suits you, uh, what suits you need. So that's company by company different, but the basics are there, so that's good. With the solution, we can now track and trace the, our offshore supplier. I think the, the key thing of this solution was the reporting. We needed to see, we needed a transparent solution and the transparency of the, the, the workflow that we have and the transparency that the reports actually show us is very, very key for us, especially on the contract point of view, on the SLA point of view, um, KPIs that we uh, can measure actually what our, our offshore supplier does complete audit trail, we know uh, where the stock is lying, we can attack the problem or the bottlenecks if there is anything on, on the system. Uh, we know that, okay, uh, what is the, uh, like, uh, we get a performance report out of the system, so we know that, okay, what is the performance in terms of the uh, individual who are processing, what is the performance in terms of the business users who are responding to our queries, and then uh, we can escalate and seek help wherever uh, we have to. The K2 solution uh, allowed us to manage further um, a whole accounts payable shop for uh, Nissan Europe, which uh, helped us to uh, assign responsibilities in a, in a correct way, which uh, in the past we didn't have it, we couldn't even imagine at all. It was selected because yeah, it had a good track record in, in, in this kind of workflow uh, and the linkage with K2. But also the people we work with was quite an international group of people, although maybe it uh, was, was UK-based, uh, part of the team. But I recall from the various people that came from all over the place, yeah? Uh, like like uh, some people coming from Germany, they're coming from Spain, they're coming even from South Africa, etc., which was in that sense a mirror of what we in Nissan experience because we're quite international. If you have a meeting, uh, a, a generic meeting in Nissan, uh, the European meetings, you talk about 10 people, they come from eight different nationalities easily. And we saw the same in dynamics, which means it's very cross-cultural. And that cross-cultural helps because that means people are not stuck into local solution because this is the way it works in, in, in Germany or this is the way it works in the UK. They were very open to it, yeah? Including a lot of fun, a lot of stories about where you're from, uh, what are you doing, etc., etc., which makes it work. It, fe it felt and still feels like good teamwork, yeah? And, and that's important. During the project, we were impressed with the commitment and ownership that Dynamics and K2, of course, showed to get the pro project in place. It was a very, very 
difficult project to achieve on the timeline. The timeline was a very, very strict timeline. We've, with their commitment, we achieved a development of the system of seven weeks, and it allowed us to change our organization for the year. Uh, working with Dynamics is a really a um, good experience because I think Dynamics is really a, an ideal supplier. They were always on time when we requested uh, them uh, some solution to be implemented. They were very uh, positive and very supportive. So we, I can really recommend Dynamics for you to use it. In working with Dynamics, uh, one of the things uh, what we uh, encountered, like when whenever this this project and uh, we had the issues, uh, operational issues, and when we went back uh, to Dynamics, uh, the response time was uh, quite good. Uh, uh, even if they didn't have the solutions, uh, uh, they would give us a timeline that okay, this is the issues and this is what we we are trying to solve and. So, so the, the response time was quite uh, good, uh, and we we had a co a quite good working relationship with Dynamics. Of course, there is a customer uh, supplier relationship. We understand that. I mean, money comes uh, goes from us uh, to you. I hope, yeah. <laughs> but uh, but the good thing is we learn from each other, yeah. And it was a very open, a very uh, an open-minded company, yeah. Uh, but stick to the rules. Yeah, try to keep it standard solution, and that's very important. But quite an international operating company, and that's what we like. Well, we start with phase one, get a foot into the door, make them to use it. They can't do anything else, and then slowly but surely we went to phase two, phase three, and phase four, which actually is happening now. Not everywhere in, with the same success, but as a matter of time. So that's another thing of essence. Make sure you have a longer term um, uh, view on these type of processes and then act accordingly and allow to think in phases. You can't win the war in one go. There are several battles to go and I believe this tool helps us in that, uh, to that extent. And I recall very well that the K2 guys said, okay, um, guys, think about your server capacity, think about your network, think about because you're going to use it all over the place. Typically one of the things which easily can go wrong, look at what we call your HR databases. This lives and dies with a clean or as clean as possible HR database um, and, and, and that's a challenge unless uh, the companies have a single fully automated HR database I believe it but um, our experience was that, uh, that that is a challenge uh, and you need that coming from the top you need to understand when you go with this yeah this must be backed by the people in the top yeah and then, and then have it implemented that's roughly the, the do's and don'ts, I would say. In summary, yeah, if there is a, if there is a global opportunity, um, we go for it. And I think K2 falls in that category. That's why yeah, we're now uh, sharing with our colleagues around the globe um, uh, the good things and the bad things, the do's and don'ts of this solution.